Hello and welcome to the replay. Um, if you follow me at all on Facebook, you know that yesterday I decided to make a cover for my sink right here. I have a double sink that's right in the middle of my countertop. And every time we have people over, I'm balancing cookie sheets, cutting boards, whatever, to try and cover the sinks up and have more counter space. So I decided this would be a great solution and it was super duper easy. Just cut the boards and screw them together, basically. And I did stain it a dark wood, like the rest of my house is. Um, and I am going to do um, a transfer that's going to be discontinuing pretty soon. It's called Gather and Grateful. It comes with two pieces here. Gather and Grateful, go figure. And I'm going to go ahead and do the gather because the only time I'm going to be pulling this out is when I'm having people over and we're gathering. So I am going to, um, because this is wood, um, after I um, steamed it, I did go ahead and wax it. Um, it's going to allow the transfer to release easier. And because there are little grooves in here, you're going to see me... Um, messing with this a little bit to try and get all the air bubbles out of there where it's going to go over the cracks. Hannah did, hello Krista, how are you? Hannah did tell me she wants me to put the Bon Appetit wreath around it. Because I thought about doing gather and some forks and spoons or something like that. But basically it's going to be this that you would piece together. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do it yet. Not sure at all. So let me go ahead real quick and put my store into the comments so you can find the Gather Grateful. This is going to be discontinued as soon as it sells out. So if you like something this size and you have an idea where you'd like to put it, I would definitely go online and get that. Well, you can. I am doing great, Krista. I am chalking. I had something that kind of is bothering me, and uh, if I if something bothers me, I go over it and over it and over it and over it and tear it apart in my mind. So I decided I need to not do that, and I need to go ahead and do something relaxing and fun. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, these boards were all sanded down when I cut them. I stained them. I sealed them with a wax. So this whole surface is ready to go. If you are going to be um, chalking or inking on wood, you do want to make sure you seal it so that um, it doesn't pull up the wood on your transfer. You can see how easily that came off. There was no splintering or anything like that. So, And because I'm a perfectionist, I don't want to do it straight or else if it's not perfectly spaced, it will bother me. So I am going to do it crooked. And I'm going to press out all of the air bubbles on the surface where I'm going to be in contact. Up here it doesn't matter where you see it bubbling because I am not going to go over there. But you do want to get all of the um, air bubbles out of there because if you do end up getting one in there, it will bleed elsewhere. Hey Melanie, how are you? Um... So I'm super excited for this and you know, who knows, I may have to have a party and have people over so I can just use this, but otherwise it's going to be a while. I have a little air bubble here I'm going to take care of real quick. There we go. And so anywhere where the um, transfer hits a joint, I'm going to be really careful and make sure that it seals in there because I don't want it to bleed elsewhere. And I wasn't sure what color I'd want to do because this is a dark wood. <clears throat> I didn't want to do something like black and have it be, you know, too dark. And so I was talking to Hannah, of course, because she's my uh, color consultant. And I said, I'm kind of thinking gray or white. It would, I mean, the white would really show up. The gray would be a little more toned down. And she told me to do an ombre. Of the white and gray so that is what I will be doing and 
We have this larger angled squeegee, which is great for scraping off excess at a faster rate. I'm going to keep this out for scraping off excess, but since I am doing an ombre, I'm going to use my just regular squeegee to get the top in one color, the bottom in another color, and then I'm going to come through with my finger like you've seen me done, done, do a million times, and I'm going to blend it with my finger. Oh, I would do the peacock or the lilac, except for that I live in an older mobile home, and because of that, I have very ugly countertops and they are avocado green kind of ish uh, with a design in them I'm looking at the atrocity right now and I think that lilac or um, peacock would totally clash with the rest of the room I have it done in a lot of um, like a dark plum and creams and greens to kind of kind of like a Tuscan color scheme, I guess, um, really warm. And I think something bright like that would just look horrible. If it was in somebody else's kitchen, I would do it that way, but not this thing. All right, so generally when you are working with ink, you do not want to have your ink over your project because you can spill it but I'm gonna keep it right over the transfer here. I usually have a towel or something covering the project. And it doesn't take a lot of ink, but if you do grab too much, you can always scrape it and put it back into the jar. I'm just hoping all these cracks work out all right for me. So I will finish here with the white and then I'll go ahead and finish with the gray and blend it together. Scrape off all the excess there and grab a new squeegee. I know you guys hear me say it all the time. This stuff's simple, it's easy, it's awesome, it's fun. And if I don't like the gray, if I think it blends in too much with the brown, I can always go back over it and do something else. So this product is really forgiving and easy to work with. My daughters are with their girlfriends in the other room talking about gaming, if you can hear them. The little gamers and YouTubers there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little extra up here that I scraped off and a little bit up here. That way it gives me something to blend together. This white is very, very thick, which is kind of why I chose it. I was hoping it wouldn't run into the cracks. All right, now the finger work. And I'm just going to press in really well where I'm in those cracks but it will go down in deep. And the nice thing about ombre is there's no wrong way to do it. You can just keep blending until you get it the way you want it. And then what I will do is go through and uh, get the excess off with the large squeegee here. And I go one direction so I'm not swirling the colors anywhere I don't want them to be. All right, got ink on these fingers so I'm gonna try not to grab anything with it. We don't pull from the corners or you might stretch your silk screen, so I am pulling from the sides. And I'm going to jump up and go drop this in the sink real quick. All right, now I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like. All right. So 
So here it is, really, really simple. I guess you guys can see it on the table when I walked away. Really, really simple. Um, I could do more to it, I can leave it simple. Um, Hannah wants me to go ahead and dry this a little bit and do a little framing of a wreath around it. What do you think? I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my white and my gray here real quick. Put the lids on them. Like I said, it would just be partial wreath. Either that or the Bon Appetit has, let's pull it out here. Has little silverware that I can add. I've got a knife, a fork, a spoon. Um, hello, Tanya. I am doing my sink cover and Hannah has suggested that along with the gather, I do the Bon Appetit wreath, maybe just a little here and there around it. Um, or I was wondering if I should add the silverware. Yes, with the greens, when I do the greens, I'm going to do um, tied and the um, green because it gives it a little more depth to the leaf. I found out that I absolutely love that color combination and it looks pretty atrocious. Pardon me. Together right here. But when it blends, it's amazing. So I am actually going to do that with the leaves. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead real quick, um, just on the corners where I'm worried that my um, sticky transfer will touch, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the heat gun. see that wax melting a little bit on it so hey Jason so I'm thinking of just doing it up here in this corner and then maybe a little one down in this corner or the two larger ones and the two smaller ones what do you think <laughs> it is fun to play with. Very, very fun. All right, so I've got my cloth up here to protect my surface. And hello, Deborah. We've never met, but I sure love playing with your grandson. All right, I am decorating my sink cover. I'm going to do uh, the majority of the leaf here in the green with a little bit of Tide on the tips to add a little depth to it. And so I've pressed out the air bubbles from the silk screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put this green all over the whole thing. And then what I do is I go in with um, the smaller squeegee and hit the tips of the leaves and blend it. Turns out pretty good. I did a tray in it. I sold it, uh, but I did a tray in it and it looks really beautiful. Otherwise, I would show you. Well, I'm going to show you now. All right. So I'm done with the green there. And I'm just going to basically dab it here and there around the tips. And then with my finger, I'm going to come back in and blend it. You know, here I am playing with ink in my church clothes, but anyone who knows me knows I hate laundry, so it is what it is. All right. I love how this tide color changes in the green. It's really, really pretty. And it's very slight, the difference. It's not like going to jump out and scream, hey, look at me, but it is beautiful. 
I hope everyone's enjoying their day. It's kind of nice here. The girls and I wear sandals to church because it feels like springtime. It's like 50 degrees or something. All right, here I am, done with this leaf. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in the water. So I'm gonna stand up here real quick and then I will hold this up to the camera so you can see it up close. All I'm doing is dropping this into the water off screen because I am washing up the transfers to use them again. I don't know, I should turn on the light here real quick. I don't know if you can catch the difference in the tips there. Kind of gives it a little bit of a different look instead of just one solid color. All right. <clears throat> hey, Jennifer, how are you and the boys doing today? Glad you could join me. This is a little wet, so I'm going to cover, put this up here so it won't lay on it. And then pressing the air bubbles out, I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing over here. See how quick this is going? I'm gonna be done with this live in no time. Then I'll have to go prep breakfasts and lunches for the rest of the week, which is not so much fun. Well, thank you, Deborah. This is very, very fun and very relaxing. My uh, daycare kids, um, did some for Father's Day for all of their dads, and ever since then, they always tell me they wish they could chalk couture, and they're very, very excited about it. So sometimes I'll do a live with them. Can't make it public, obviously, but yeah, it's so much fun and so easy. All right, so like I said, this transfer, the Gather Grateful, is going to be gone pretty soon from the website, so you have to go and get it now if you want it, and I pinned that, well, I don't know if I pinned it, but I will hit the pin. Um, I put it in the comments. I need your opinion. Do I do another large and another small over here um, to kind of balance it out, or do I leave it off kilter like this? I'm going to run, run over here and wash this up real quick while you guys uh, throw in the comments what you want me to do. Let me know what you think. I kind of feel like that top corner is a little empty, but... I am, I know my flaws. I am a very symmetrical person. I like everything to be balanced. So I know not everyone is that way and it's not very artistic of me. So if you think it looks fine like this, let me know. If not, give me your opinion. I appreciate it. And also if you um, like this video and share it, please comment share down below. Your name goes into a drawing for some free chalk couture that I will mail to your home. So everybody wins when you share. All right, I'm just going to wipe these down real quick and then I'll be around to the other side.
do another. Okay, we will do another then. Uh, because I did just wash these transfers, they are wet. And so I'm going to do my little quick dry tip trick here. And I'm going to flip it down on the towel, uh, sticky side down. And then I'm going to dry through the silk screen here. People sometimes dry it with a hair dryer or whatnot, but you don't want to melt your transfer. You use these over and over again. They say you can get 10 to 12 uses out of these, but I have some that I've gotten a lot more out of them. Let's see. This back over here. And hopefully this is even. I'm doing it upside down, so I have no clue. All right. Oh, you do think it'll be too busy? Well, now I've got one vote each way. <laughs> Well, I don't want it too busy, so we will leave it as it is. And we'll call it done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. And then I'm gonna uh, seal it with a Krylon polyurethane. And that will keep it, um, keep it sealed and keep anything from scratching off. And then also if there's any spills on it, they'll wipe up really easy. But anyway, that's all there is to this project. And like I said, go onto the website and place your order uh, because this one will be going. I believe the Bon Appetit is being discontinued as well. But we have a lot of wreaths on there, so there's a lot of different things you can do for accents as well. Anyway, thank you for joining and uh, Please like and share and comment below that you did so your name can go into the drawing. Thank you and have a great day.